This is the most complex logic creation in all of Scrap Mechanic. It's a whole freaking game built in another game. Over 16,000 logic gates. It's just the sea of blue. Nothing comes close to it. So watch until the end when I showcase this to a popular Scrap Mechanic YouTuber. Like, I'm legitimately blown away. I don't think I fully comprehend the amount of work that this took. I'm not exaggerating. This took hundreds of hours to build. I'm gonna spare you the details because I have no freaking clue how it exactly works anymore. So I just wanted to build another logic game like I did before. I had no no idea it would balloon into this. Just look at the connections. Those are rookie numbers. My idea was to recreate the Donkey Kong arcade game in Scrap Mechanic. By the way, the gameplay you see is from a weird website, which is probably not legal. I really hope Nintendo isn't gonna sue me because we copied the crap out of it. Now let me explain why this is a really stupid idea. Space Game, my first logic game, only has seven movement positions. Donkey Kong has this entire movement area with multiple levels and you can jump. Oh, and there are also barrels, which which randomly rolled down the entire thing. It was a really stupid idea. Surely I could have done it on my own. On the other hand, I could also exploit the living hell out of an inspiring workshop builder. We geeked out about logic creations and we're foolish enough to think we got it all figured out already. The first problem is the screen. It's gonna be huge because we need 6,000 pixels. If you make a traditional logic gate screen that big, the game just stops rendering the gates. So we just welded 6,000 headlights together. Having a color display would be better, uh, but we actually have freaking colors. I've read how they literally glued red foil on arcade machines because the enemies were always in the same position. And we can just paint individual headlights. Just look at the result. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And now imagine this actually being playable in game. Yeah, and also don't mind Donkey Kong wearing pants. Meanwhile, Wolfie began to work on his greatest achievement in life, the Matrix. A Matrix is basically a table of numbers, but we don't have now. It just sounds cool, man. Oh god, I remember DMing random people on Discord. It was a lot of fun, but not for Wolfie. The Matrix handles the entire movement of our character, which ended up looking extremely amorous. The way it works is we have two axes, horizontal for movement and vertical for jumps and layers. So we just needed to add or subtract one to our X and Y numbers and we have movement. Now, the way it actually works, I have no freaking idea. It's time you meet our worst enemy. You, the player. You spam buttons, press all keys at once, jump on our ladders or through layers and just try to break our game in every possible way. You see, version one of the Matrix is just this. All of this extra stuff is just to keep you from breaking things. Good thing I wasn't building it. Every time Wolfie fixed the bug, I would find another within minutes. It was a lot of fun for me. In the end, he spent like 40 hours building it. Like we spent so much time on this. Here's just a list of fun things we did. Changing connections to Illuminati, change those team names to Chinese and invading my Discord, making my spot gun shoot entire warehouse floors, turning my spot gun into a flamethrower, googling Conky Dong 69, discovering new levels of existential crises never known to Wolfie before, playing too much with the paint tool. We had a lot of fun. While Wolfie was making the Matrix, I got to work on my balls. It's an acronym, which stands for Barrel Automation Logical Logic System, or BALLS for short, because we're like 12. The idea was to make a long chain of timers, the balls at barrel slowly roll down, and randomly they would roll down a ladder. At first I literally wanted to build giant wheels of fortune for the random numbers. Wolfie didn't like it. Instead he gave me a random logic generator, and I still had no clue how it really works. But as I was finishing up the balls, the impossible happened. Oh, it's not welded. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> you like tried to hold the toilet but you don't <laughs> reach it. Do you have your ball system saved? No. Now you can just make another world and I'll just give you the ball system. Oh yeah, there it is. You broke what? my balls, you idiot! No, they are two sides to it! Left and right! And you only have one side of it! Force catapulted me out of the map and then you broke my balls! This is just gonna be a moment in the video Black, white, set music, face palms, all of it. In the end, Wolfie ended up redoing the entire ball system, arguably in much better quality. Wolfie broke my balls and surprised me with new ones. That should have been the title, honestly. So instead, I just made the most overkill sound system ever. Before, I just used simple toadbot heads, and now I'm just gonna use a crap ton of them. Some dude made a really nice tool which converts any MIDI file to a toadbot creation. That's how all these top of the workshop music bots are made, by the way. Luckily, I have no freaking clue about music. First off, I had to 100% legally acquire the original MIDI files from some slightly questionable website. Then I needed a sound font to actually hear the music, which led me to a weird website with a Japanese sumo ringer and something called Fatboy. Then I just had to eat everything into the tool, and I'll just listen to one of the results. It 
sounds amazing. Can't wait to actually listen to these sounds during gameplay. But the entire creation would need over 100,000 connections. That's at least 30 hours if we do one every second. To make this easier, we use Brand Batch's blueprint editing tool. It can do some really cool things with blueprints, like giant 3D models, moving certain blocks, replacing them, painting, and of course making connections. So instead of dragging connections through all of the spaghetti, we could just paint. But even that wasn't fast enough. To actually get the matrix to render our sassy bucker, I've programmed myself a tool for the first time in one or two years. This later also led to the creation of the rigroll eh, screen mod. Finally, we can put everything together. Collision is easy because if the barrel and the player draw to the same pixel, boom, it's time to finally, finally play the game for the first time. Wolfie just finished wiring everything up and it's time to spawn it in. Ahem, <coughs> spawn it in. Oh shit, we're screwed. There actually is a limit to how big you can make a scrap mechanic creation. And we reached that limit. This is the reason we had to separate the sound module in the final version. We also had to literally cut corners because corners take up more blueprint space. It's so ridiculous. Anyway, enjoy the barrels. I don't even remember how Wolfie let the barrels disappear like political activists in China when you hit them with the hammer, but he did. Now the game was shaping up really well and I designed some actual screens, including a main menu. It doesn't look great because the colors are kind of weird, but it's just so gorgeous if you're playing. And we also named the game Conky Dong. We could have stopped here, but of course I had to annoy Wolfie in the name of good game design, or piracy for that matter. I just wanted a timer, a working high score system, and progressive difficulty. You're getting how ridiculously overkill this is? You can actually play the game for an hour trying to reach the highest score of 420. I mean, you can't really go higher than that. The funny thing about the score is that we added a zero behind every number, so you feel better getting 10 instead of just one point. The high score also uses blocks to save the score, so it stays even when you put it on the lift. You can't save it though, because then the blueprint gets too big again. And Human Thoughts also built a case for us, or at least the part we could fit into the blueprint. Looks really cool though. Before it's time to showcase the entire arcade machine, I just want to point out what a miracle it is that this thing even works. Like each logic gate has a 25 millisecond delay, so it's absolutely mind-blowing it doesn't take 3 seconds for your character to move. And even though Scrap Mechanic likes to lag a lot, this still manages 30 to 40 FPS on most computers. I don't think anyone will ever build anything close to this. It's funny how Cosmo doesn't know that the actual game it's called Donkey Kong. Shut up. Get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is like, honestly, it's the last game that I expected. I was laying in bed last night and I was like, what do these guys have in store for me? I honestly thought it would be Pac-Man. Guys, the audio and everything, it's perfect. That's awesome. Like, I can't even imagine the amount of work that went into this. Oh my goodness, guys. Like, I'm legitimately blown away. Like, I don't... I don't think I fully comprehend the amount of work that this took. So I gotta move the little guy around at the bottom. Okay, that's that. Two is jump. Four is for ah, the left. Ah! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait for it. I died. <laughs> okay, now that I know what I'm doing, kind of. This is awesome. You even have ads. <laughs> what? Like, We need what? to make money. <laughs> if you pay us five bucks, we get you the ad-free version. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how you get them, eh? All right, let me actually try and get somewhere. Can also uh, uh, oh, man, my reaction time is terrible. <laughs> I did play this as a kid a long time ago. Very, very bad memory as far as this game goes, though. Okay, fifth Takes time practice. is the charm, guys. It's gotta be. Jump. Now. Man, I really want a sunshake now. It's gonna be like, wow, did Cosmo even play the original Donkey Kong games? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> once when I was five, guys. Okay, go, go, go. Gotta get a hammer before the thing gets to me. Oh, well, it's not mandatory. Oh, it's mandatory when you're me and you suck this much. <laughs> well, you can jump. learn to jump on the world. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That was actually perfect. If you will, like that was, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to like predict where it's gonna go, and your prediction was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Not taking any chances. Now I'm gonna oh, wait many points. Oh no! I fell out of the seat. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, oh god, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it, I'm so scared. You could have them, No, no, I'm not taking my chances. Oh! was so late on the jump, thank goodness it didn't. so gonna die. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here. You're gonna die of time. Yeah, because you have like the time thing. Dude, I'm dying regardless. 
Ah! Yes! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Hammer. No, no, do not take it. Oh. Yeah, Way out. <laughs> I'll miss the time. I know I'll miss the time, but... I, I Wait, guess you can make it. You can it, still you know? do it. Gotta hurry yeah. up. I gotta hurry up. Yeah, Mine. just go. 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 One jump, one jump! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the score system broken or is your score just zero? Well, it's <laughs> certainly you did not. I <laughs> yeah, think I, like... I don't think you heard a single point, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you wait, did no, a single point. did it! <laughs> no, yeah. no! What? <laughs> oh no! Oh no. no! Did I glitch the game Oh out? my god. That's that's awesome. It's, it's just so ridiculous. I can't I can't <laughs> fathom doing this myself. Definitely would love to learn more logic. Don't think I'll ever get to this point, but... Yeah, it's well, not that complicated once you get the hang of it. You're like Khan. It's simple! <laughs> <laughs> you just do this and then just get to this. I mean, what's so complicated? Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Guys, this was really awesome. I, I really appreciate you showing this to me. I feel honored. Seriously, this has just been amazing. The fact that it's even possible to do these things scrap mechanic. Like, while building this game, we face so many challenges and problems you face in the real world. I just find it absolutely astonishing that if you set your mind to this, you can discover so much about programming yourself. This is the reason why Scrap Mechanic is my favorite game and actually got me into programming. If you wanna play the game yourself, it's on the workshop. Huge thanks to Cosmo and to you for watching all of this. It means a lot to me and Wolfie.